That's right! You already know, we had to head over to tiermaker.com in order to rank some of the newest entities within Roblox doors. From S tier all the way to the F tier, how would your favorite entities hold up? Well, we're going to be ranking them all in today's video. So comment below your own entity tier list and let's head on over to the table. And as you guys can see, we do have our tier list labeled from S tier all the way to F tier and we do have every single entity, especially within the Dwarfs Hotel Plus update. And in no particular order, we're going to start off with uh, the Ballcraft Entity. This is a troll entity that was found especially right within Creecraft's livestream. And to be honest, dude, I like your country. So obviously that's gonna be an eight here for sure. Next up, we do have Jack, and I really like Jack for a couple of reasons. They're one of the few entities that has two mechanics built in within it. I mean, you got the red room, and then you also do have the hide in a wardrobe mechanic. There's not too many entities within the game that have two mechanics like that. So I have to put Jack in the high B tier. As for Dupe, one of the newer entities, especially after the update, who can even argue with the entity? these mechanics. I mean, having dupe doors within Roblox doors, it's such a brilliant idea. And the entity is very ominous, especially when it comes to its appearance. I mean, the best reference of the entity that we have is within the doors game logo. So I would have to put dupe in the A tier. Its new mechanic is definitely great and it definitely adds a lot more to the gameplay of the game. Next up, we do got Halt, an old favorite but not really anymore. I really hated how the developers made the entity a lot more rarer, though I will say as you progress towards the end of the game, they do have a way higher chance of spawning in. I'm gonna have to put Halt at the C tier. Really do miss some spawning in, especially early on in the game. I don't think it should be reserved for later in the game. Of course, everybody's favorite entity, Screech, right? Yeah, no, not even close, man. Albeit, Screech did used to be the most annoying entity within the game. I mean, we did do a video asking you guys the most annoying entity, and a lot of you guys did agree that Screech was pretty bad. But honestly, the entity isn't even that bad by today's standards. And I think the hate's starting to wear off a little bit too. So Screech, I would probably have to go with the D tier at least for now. Though it is increasing and might be even C tier in the future. Next up, we do got Snare, another new entity within the update. Now, a lot of people do not like Snare, especially since they can be pretty hard to find within the game. But if you're paying attention, especially within the greenhouse rooms, you shouldn't have any problems with Snare, and the entity doesn't even kill you even if you have 10 health. So I'd have to put Snare, especially at the C tier, it's a really unique entity, but they could have probably added a little bit more to the design too. Next up, we got everybody's favorite, Eyes. Eyes is interesting because its mechanic is pretty horror game related. Almost every horror game has this mechanic where you cannot look at a specific object. In this case, you cannot look at eyes, otherwise you'll take damage. Albeit, the entity did came a long way, especially from its original appearance. I would have to put eyes at the B tier. Sometimes it can be annoying, especially when he spawns in within the greenhouse rooms. But next up, we do got windows. And I'm not a big fan of windows at all, sorry to say. The entity doesn't really do anything. All he does is just laughs at you through the window. I mean, if the entity was able to do a jump scare just like our partner's demonstration video, that would have been a lot better. But he doesn't, so I'm gonna have to put the windows at the E tier. I mean, it's pretty cool that they do show up during thunderstorms, but that's pretty much it. As for Seek, easy S tier, dude. I mean, honestly, the entity has two chase secrets within the game. What more could you even ask for, bro? The guy literally was the face of the game, especially when it first came out. As for Glitch, another old favorite, I am really disappointed that the developers did remove one of its mechanics of bringing players back up to the pack. It no longer serves as a dual purpose entity, though they do also show up in the rooms in very rare occurrences. It used to be a B, maybe even A tier, but it's gonna have to be a C tier for now. As for Shadow, the entity itself isn't very unique at all, but there is a 1 out of 2000 chance of it spawning in, and whenever he does 
this spawn in, they're always going to cause some jump scares for players. I mean, I always get scared by Shadow whenever they pop up in the game. Shadow, I'm going to have to put a B tier as well, along with Jack. As for A90, one of the newer rooms entities, I think we can all agree they're the newest, most hated entity within the whole community. I mean, with so many bugs being reported on the entity alone, to even just the game breaking in general. It's an easy F tier, and it is unfortunate that the developers did create this entity from scratch, but it just needs a lot of work, especially when it comes to its gameplay. Next up, we do got Curious Light, and I do like how they were able to make an alternate version to Guiding Light, though he is a lot more clueless than Guiding Light, so he's not as helpful. I'd probably have to put Curious Light in the C tier, just because he's not very as helpful as his counterpart. As for Rush, I do like Rush, especially since he's a nice introductory entity, especially for newer players in the game. He's not that hard at all, but within the greenhouse rooms, that's when the difficulty for the entity does go up quite a bit. So there's good balance in the entity, it's gonna have to be an A tier from me. As for Figure, again, another S tier, he's one of the main entities within the whole entire game, and you also got the library sequence as well as Room 100 to boot too. As for Bob the Skeleton, however, they're pretty much like Windows, man, they're very useless. I mean, it's nice that they were able to add it into the game as another new entity, but there's nothing really that goes along with it, you know? So it's gonna have to be an E tier for now. Timothy, everybody's favorite spider. I do like its mechanics, especially with the jump scare within the drawers. I think Timothy's gonna have to be in the B tier right after Shadow. As for Ambush, it's pretty similar to Rush, but you just go back and forth a couple times. I like that feature a lot, especially since it just adds more difficulty to the gameplay. So he's gonna go above Rush right here. Jeff the shopkeeper, I mean the guy has a vision man. The guy wants to go to college and he even set up a shop for it man. Easy A tier, in fact I'm gonna put him right above dupe as well. And then we also got A60 and A60. Very overrated within the community, we've seen it with the A60 trend videos before the update even dropped. Honestly, I am in the hype, the original entity in the rooms was really cool, and it's even cooler now, especially with its new effect within doors. As for its friend, A-120, it's kind of like ambush in a way, and it's a little too quiet as an entity too, you really have to pay attention to the game, otherwise it's gonna creep up on you and pretty much oof you. So I'd have to put A-120 in the mid A range just because of that. As for Guiding Light, a lot more helpful than Curious Light, that's one thing for sure. We pretty much all know Guiding Light at this point. I think he's definitely gonna be probably high B tier. Actually, I changed my mind. He's probably gonna be mid A tier, especially since they do help out during the game as well with the sparkles and whatnot. As for Void, another new entity, if you even wanna call it that, I'm gonna have to put it above a90 in the F tier, and for good reason, they could have added a lot more imagination to this entity. And also the fact that they removed one of Glitch's mechanics in order to create Void? That doesn't really sit well with me, man, I'm sorry. Now I do like Hide, especially since they do make the game a little bit more challenging once again. You can't hide inside the wardrobes forever, you know? So Hide would have to be in the low B tier for that. And of course, we can't forget about El Goblino as well. He's one of the only entities that's able to talk back with players, which is really cool. I really want to put El Goblino in S tier, but all we can do is pretty much just talk to him at this point, so I'm gonna have to put him at the bottom of A tier, though I would love to see a mechanic from him at some point in the future. And of course, we do got the troll face, another troll entity that was found during Creecraft's livestream. Too bad it's not in the official game as of yet, but definitely a B tier, I think right above Timothy, because it is a pretty cool entity, especially when it came to its gameplay feature. But yeah, make Make sure you guys roast this tier list in the comments below and post your own. Take care everybody.